faith, trust, and spirit. Are they real or are they some woo-woo stuff? Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Beerman. I'm so glad you came by here today. Join me for Metaphysical Ministry International dot com. So what is this stuff about spirit? and about having faith and having trust in what you can't see. Are you someone who lives by, I'll believe it when I see it? Or do you live by, I'll see it when I believe it? Not that long ago, someone said to me, I wish I had the kind of faith and trust that you have in the universe. And what she was referring to was when I was looking to move, I knew exactly what I was looking for. I didn't know where it was. I just knew it was out there waiting for me to find it. And she, along with a number of other people in my world, people who live in the world of, I'll believe it when I see it, they kept telling me I was unrealistic, that what I was looking for couldn't possibly happen. That's their world. Oh, and just as a little aside, I've noticed that the people who say that's not realistic, they're the ones who are living in the unrealistic world because they're the ones who think life just happens to them. They're the ones who will tell you, that's the way I am. I've always been this way. I can't change. They're the ones who don't take responsibility for their choices that way. They have someone or something or a circumstance to blame. And things don't work out the way they really like them to. So even more recently, Someone said to me, that's so cool that you're so in touch with your spirit. Because I was telling her, I ask my spirit before I make any purchases, not just food, not just supplements, but any purchases, I ask, which is the one that's going to serve me, be best for me? And the thing of it is, I didn't used to be that way. I wasn't that way 30 years ago. I made a choice to connect with my spirit. And you can make that choice too. Because here's the bottom line of life. Anything, anything physical, anything emotional, anything spiritual, anything relationships, that's not going the way you want in your life. It's a reflection of a disconnect that you have between you and your own self, your higher self, your spirit or between you and other people, or between you and the universe, God, source, whatever term you use for that energy. So where are you now on that spectrum? Do you really think life just happens to you? Think again. Now, before I leave here today, I just want to share with you a happy share. Happy shares, it's something that leaves you feeling good, at peace. And it's not something that happens to somebody else in your world. It's something that happens specifically to you. And my happy share is, we've had a very severe winter here. And we had so many days below zero talking about Fahrenheit temperature, that the pipes in my kitchen froze and I didn't have any running water in my kitchen. Now, if somebody cooks everything from scratch, that was not convenient, but it didn't bother me because you make a choice about whether or not something's going to bother you. And that's what I'm so happy about. It didn't bother me. So I'll make the kimchi today because I have running water today. Life happens perfectly for a beautiful and divine reason and always in divine timing. 
I wish you a week filled with many blessings and especially filled with connecting to the nirvana that lies within you. Nothing's out there. Nothing. It's all in here and in here. <laughs>